So we're finally there. I end up, I have a whole bunch of different fish for you guys to check out. We got hermit crabs, a few different kinds of snails, some blennies, all kinds of new fish that's gonna be going in this tank tonight. And so what we have to do is we have to acclimate them all and make sure the salinity and everything is the same so they don't shock them. Um, so I got a, a foam box here full of all different stuff. Um, I got a pail and we're gonna use the foam box and we're gonna acclimate them. What we're gonna do is, uh, we're just gonna use some tubing and we're gonna do a, a drip acclimation for about two hours. Um, usually a lot of fish that come in, the salinity is really low. And like myself, I always keep my uh, salinity at 35 parts per million, where it's supposed to be. So I don't want to shock those fish right out of the gate. And I want to make sure we slowly ease them into it, get the salinity the same, the temperature, so they're happy. And then hopefully everything will go well and they'll uh, survive in the tank. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, we're going to get all the snails and shrimp. We're going to get them all into one pail like shrimp as well very uh i mean with the uh, salinity very sensitive so we want to make sure we don't shock them so we're going to put the all the fish into the crate and we're going to put all the uh, hermit crabs snails all that good stuff in a pail we're going to each run uh a hose to each one and we're going to start uh, drip acclimating them so let's go ahead we'll take a little tour you guys can check out what's going on here um we'll open up all the snails put them all in there and then uh I've got my here handy little tool refractometer. I'm just going to see what the salinity is after I dump all the water and everything into each of these pails and see what it is uh, and what my tank is as well. So we're going to match that up by the end that we're done so they're not shocked. And then probably about an hour through, I'm going to just move the water back and forth in each pail and make sure everything's mixed up really well. I really want them not to be shocked and just ease right into the 700. So we'll get some fish going on here. So this is the first... Uh, one of my shipments is gonna be coming, but we got lots of different stuff, you know, things are coming from Australia, Hawaii, but they're all coming from different orders. So today, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys, so excited, we're finally there. You guys saw my other videos previous, we did all the bacteria and everything's been bang on, so I can't be more pleased. So it's time guys to put some life into this tank, so join me, we're finally there. So let's start, uh, let's get all the snails out, get everything in a pail, we'll get that drip going on. We'll start the timer, get two hours going on here. And then at the end, we'll start releasing everything together and watch things go. So come on in guys, let's check this all out. All right, farm hands, let's check in the box. So right here, I got a hundred hermit crabs. So these guys are great. They're good for, you know, they're scavenging, pick up any leftover food, just keep your tank really clean. So they keep, they're like the maintenance crew. So we're just gonna put them in the pail right now. Then we're gonna put these all in the same one so we can activate them. So right now, see there, I got a hundred of them. So we're gonna place those ones in. Like the, you try to say like the rule of thumb. So it's 700 gallons, try to have one per gallon. So these ones here, they pretty much come in dry pretty much. So we got those ones. We have, what are we, these ones here? We got both these ones here are uh, some snails. So right now they, I got another hundred snails. So we're gonna get those ones in here. They're really nice. Got some margaritas. Get those ones. These ones here I love. I got 20, they're huge. They're uh, 20 uh, great big uh, Mexican turbo snails. Like they're huge. I'm gonna show you guys the size of these puppies. Let's get one of the biggest ones. Like see the size of that one, it's like the size of a golf ball. It's awesome. And he's gonna do a really good job cleaning up all different kinds of algaes out of the tank. So we're gonna get these ones here. See, they, they pretty much come in dry, so they're gonna go in here as well. And I'll bring you guys close, you guys can check these all out. And this one here, okay, these are black, what is it? Uh, black snails, and I got pink. I got 50 each of those ones, so we'll get those in here. They're pretty nice, I'll show you guys. Right there, the 50 each, there's black and pink. Black and pink margaritas. So those are all empty. What else we got here, so. All right, so that's my uh, cleanup crew I got right now. So let's start the, the acclimating on that one. All right, guys, some of the fish I got here, um, I got a blue spotted jawfish. They're really nice, I got that one. Um, this one here is a sailfin wrasse. 
pretty nice. I got, got four purple uh, firefish. They're really nice as well. Um, I got four cleaner shrimp. And I got, uh, this one here is a flame hawk. It's pretty cool. What else I got here? Oh, I got a, this one's a coal tang. They're pretty nice. And I got a, a Midas Blenny. So that's what we got on this shipment, guys. I can't wait to get them in. So let's start getting all these fish acclimated. We got the hermit crabs right now, right here. And uh, I got a nice little drip on it. I just took this tubing and I put a knot in it. And it's got a little bit of a drip going on. So it works out perfect. So let's go ahead and let's do the same for the fish. All right, so we got everything acclimating right now. Take you up close here and check it out. So if we go in here, look at the size of like these turbo snails, like this one here. It's the size of a golf ball. It's huge. So they're an awesome cleanup crew. So we got all our different kinds of snails. So everybody has, does their job. So I just had a little bit of a drip going on here. You can see that. That's gonna be going on for like two hours. Make sure everybody's good. And then in here, this is, I got the fish in here. They can check them out. So we got a coal tang. We got a hawk fish. We got four purple uh, fire fish. We got a blue spotted jawfish. I see you guys right there. So blue spotted jawfish. We got a coal tang. Give us a lot of uh, action in the tank. There's the hawkfish. There's the four purple fish. And then we have uh, that right there is a sailfin wrasse. Very pretty colors. is awesome. And right there. Whoops, whoops. Then we got the Midas Blenny right there. So these guys are going to acclimate for like two hours. I got the same thing. I got the drip going on. And we're going to let them settle right in. And then we can start placing them one by one with the net into the Phoenix 700. And then I got up here. Then we go up here. See, I just got the tubes in the tank. I stuck a paint can on top of it. And then back in the corner there, I just got the three uh, cleaner shrimp. I'm going to end up, as soon as the water is uh, enough in the pail, I can start placing them in there as well. So we'll get that going on. So I've got the timer set on the phone here. If you check her out for two hours. So in an hour, I'm just going to go and I'm going to mix this up a bit and then we're going to start placing everybody into the tank. So let's, we'll check in a little bit. All right, farm hand. So it's been two hours. Everything's looking great so far. The fish are looking great. All the cleanup crews looking good. So right now I'm going to start adding all the cleanup crew. I'm just going to drop them here on the sand bed and they can go and do whatever they want in the tank. So let's go ahead and get started. So get some of the big guys in here. I'm going to start putting them in the tank. And then I'll bring you guys up and we'll, we'll watch them start moving around a bit. They can go right on the sand. I'm not going to start placing them all over the place. So it's very important when you have your cleanup crew, you try to do like the ratio one per every gallon. So I'm starting off like I started with like uh, hermit crabs 100 and I'll just keep like, you know, every other week or whatever, just keep getting, you know, I'll get another 100 and get another 100 until I have my max. But they're important, you want to have a successful tank, eating up any, you know, debris, leftover uh, food that's uneaten. We're getting there. A few more handfuls. So I still want to get some uh, Nazareth snails as well. They like to, uh, you know, live in the sand. They're great because those Nazareth snails, they, you know, they keep flipping the sand. They keep it all nice and clean. And plus, eat anything uh, that's dead or leftover foods. Few more to go. It's nice after you put so much time into your build to finally get to this point. There we go. So we got all the cleaner crew in there. I'll bring you here. I'll bring you guys up right now. You can check them out. And 
All right, so a few handfuls of uh, snails, hermit crabs, a few different species of each. They all do their, uh, their part. So they'll be grazing on anything uneaten, keeping my tank, keeping the glass nice and clean, keep everything in control. So you guys can see it's like a, a field of snails and everything else. So they can start moving up all over the rock and start doing their job. That's the plan. So let's move on to the fish now, guys. All right, so I got my trusty little net here. So I'm gonna start off with the blue spotted jawfish and we'll get him in there. He, as I got the cover on here, he's real jumpy. So always make sure if you get any kind of like blennies, wrasses and stuff, always have like a cover over your tank if you're doing rimless or anything like that. That's uh, one of the big things. You could spend like four or $500 on a wrasse and he's gonna jump out and be dead on the floor. It really sucks. So make sure you put some protection on it. So let's move in here. Let's grab the jawfish. He can be a jumper. Place him in the tank. He's probably gonna go hiding. There you go. And he's just sitting in the rock right now. I'll try to get you a close up there, but he's probably just gonna go and hide for a bit. Let's move on to the coal tang. Let's do the coal tang next. He's a nice small one, so he should be pretty good to go. Put a lot of activity in the tank. Try not to stress him out too much. Whoop. All right, here's the coal tang. They're pretty cool. Get them in there. There you go. Try to get you guys up close after and check him out. Let's do uh, the hawkfish next. They got a lot of great personality. They'll look at you just sitting there looking around at you. Whoa, he's a jumper. Okay. He's going in next. Sorry, my alarm going off for the acclimation. Okay, so let's do uh, the Midas uh, Blenny next. They're pretty cool, really vibrant colors. He's a good size, but he's definitely gonna grow. He's a jumper too, so it's good to have a cover on the tank. He's pretty nice looking. And now I got uh, four purple uh, firefish. They're pretty nice. There's all different kinds you can get, so we're gonna start off with these ones and uh, try to get a few more. Let's see if we can get a couple in here. So here's one, one going in. Go get his buddy. Oh, got two in this one. They're probably all gonna hide. I don't know if we're gonna see them all in here, guys. Oh, they're starting to group together, that's cool. There we go. So the last one, we got the sailfin wrasse. He's real nice. Got these ones in here. Come on, buddy. There. Yeah, he's a real nice looking wrasse. So I'll try to get the camera in here so you guys can see them out, but there's such lots of so many places to hide and they're just new into their home and they're in their environment. You know, they're real skittish. So I'm probably gonna give them, uh, try to feed them tonight with some nice Rod's food. Try to, you know, welcome them to the new tank. So hopefully everything will go really well tonight. Get the cover on top. Well, and uh, wake up tomorrow morning. Hopefully everybody's happy. So that's the plan. So let's go in, let's check out all these fish. All right guys, so there we go. There's the sailfin wrasse. Try to get you guys a good, close up of him, he's, of course he's, so he's moving around, that's pretty cool. So, maybe he'll pop it one more time for us, but he's got a lot of places to hide. Um, I just seen the coal tang, he was in there. Definitely gonna get some more fish in here, it's like, you know, it's such a big tank. Oh, the, oh there's the coal tang, look, look, let's see if we can get him. Come on, buddy. There he is, very nice fish. Let's see if we can spot the purple, the purple firefish, there's one. So we got four of them. They were all out here, but we just got them in, so they're a little nervous. 
And then we got the hawkfish over there. He's pretty cool. You get a lot of personality. He'll be sitting all over the rocks looking at you, so it's pretty sweet. I don't see the other guys. They're just high. Oh, where is he? He's in there. If you look on your right, they're hiding down in there in the rock. So that's pretty cool. And then the Midas Blenny. Those guys are hiding pretty good. Probably take a little bit, maybe a little bit of feeding. We'll get them out, but what do, what do we expect, right? They're just into the tank now. And then we got all our cleanup crew. So yeah, you add all the fish in there. It's like I didn't add anything. So can't wait for the next shipment and show you guys what's going on. But uh, you, oh, oh, look at one's coming out. Sweet, there's the other guy down on there. So four of those guys, they're real nice looking. All right guys, so that's it then for the tonight. All right farm hands, so that's uh, some of the stock I got off my list, so you, hopefully you guys enjoyed those. Um, so our future videos, we're gonna learn all about each of those uh, new uh, additions to the tank, why I picked them, and uh, everything that they can do. So I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next videos coming up, and uh, please subscribe and hit the like button.